Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now that we've lit the ancient furnace, let's talk to Robbie again. You, Link, listen up. Hmm? My darling Cherry is back to normal. Such is the power of love. My love made Cherry well again. Uh, the furnace is lit. Like, you know, it's lit. Oh, well thank you. Yes, quite. Now then. Please take this as a gift of my gratitude now that Cherry is fixed. And he gives us three ancient arrows. They are made using uh, secret Sheikah technology. With the addition of my upgrades, they have morphed into anti-calamity weapons, so to speak. Needless to say, they are an incredibly powerful uh, type of ancient sol soldier gear. I like to call them... Ancient Arrows. In addition to Ancient Arrows, Cherry can make all kinds of ancient soldier gear. If you're looking to acquire some, give your ancient mater give your ancient materials and rupees to Cherry. Rupees? Did you hear that? Ah, forgive me, Link. Ever since the fall of Hyrule Castle, we haven't had much in the way of funds for our research. That is, that's why I thought you might be willing to help us out with rupees. Lots of them, I beg of you. Then let's do it, hmm? The two of us, as soon as possible, yes? Let's. Conquer the Calamity, hmm? Okay, so Robbie's research is complete, and now if we talk to Cherry. Hey, hey, beep. Familiar name missing. Insert the materials and rupees. Receive ancient equipment in exchange. So, we can buy ancient arrows here, for regular arrows, ancient shafts, and ancient screws, but we can also get them in different quantities, depending on how much stuff we have. It's still a lot of parts and money, though. Very expensive. We can also get some very unique uh, guardian or ancient weapons, so... We have the ancient so short sword, the ancient shield, the ancient blade saw, the Ancient Spear, the Ancient Bow, oh that's a lot of attack, oh my goodness, just realized how high the attack on these weapons are, 40, 70, well that one's defense, 55, 30, 44, we also have the Ancient Gear, which is the armor, which has Guardian Resist up on it, but this is also very expensive, as you can see we need uh, Ancient Gears, which we need 20 of, for each piece. Five ancient shafts for each piece again, but oh no, not no not each piece piece. So I need five ancient shafts for the helm. Five ancient screws for the uh Karas? I don't know how to pronounce that anyway. And the greaves, we need five ancient springs. So that's gonna be alright for those probably. But the ancient cores, we need three for each one, so we're almost there for it. But we're not quite there, and if, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff here. Now just quickly, while we're still here, the ancient shield, while you're holding in front of you as defense, will automatically repel guardian laser beams. We're probably going to get this probably later on, but... For now, we just, it's very expensive. It needs one giant ancient core, which you can probably get, you can't get from the ruined guardians. You have to get it from a guardian stalker, so, and have to be lucky for it dropping. So anyway, we're gonna come back to this later. Thanks for your time. Come again. Whoop. Familiar name missing. So there we go. That's pretty interesting. And now, let me just quickly check the album. Okay, there's a few more that I want to do before other things. So I think for now, let's just, hang on, let's go back to our map and let's head over, let me get rid of that quickly. I could do those, I guess, but I kind of want to continue heading towards all of the areas of the map at the moment. So, let's head on over. Um, probably to 
this shrine here. And now that we're here, let's head on down this direction. I believe there's another, another shrine over in that direction I wanted to do. Or is that... Yeah, that's another shrine, I think. So we're going to have to get that at some point. But for now, we're going to head towards the next tower. So let's do that. There's a few things we're probably going to want to know before we go forward, though. So I'm... I'd like to show off. Ah... Oh. I don't know, let's just go for now. I'll pr I, I, I know what I'm doing. I've planned everything in advance, obviously. Anyway, I'm not going to be taking a horse for this because I don't... Oh, lizards, come back, no. That's a problem. Anyway, I'm not going to be taking a horse on this road because I just don't think... Oh my goodness, again, they spawn right in front of me as I'm stopping. Or, yeah. Death Mountain Marker 1. Climbing Path uh, Trailhead. Okay then, well let's keep going. And it might be worth picking up some of the rocks in this region, or this area, because the lizards are running away. But we can probably find some underneath rocks sometimes and just pick them up instantly. Also, I'm just going to quickly blow myself up. I'm not joking, because I believe if I stand in this, uh, this spring, the hot water rejuvenate, rejuvenates health. So that's interesting to know if you need... It's not like that great, but it's still useful, a little bit. I can see stuff floating around, but I think this Goron's scaring them away. Oh well, let's just keep going. Wasn't expecting to see any travelers along this road. Oh, another lizard. Let's just keep heading up this path. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. This is not going to work. Let me... Hang on. I'm trying to work this out. Let me take a picture of you because you're a fire chew. A fire choo choo. Get rid of you. Let's take that red choo choo jelly. Let's keep going. A ruined guardian over there. Oh, and more, more of these. Ow! Oh, back up! Oh. Okay, he's put himself out. Let's blow him up, and there we go. And by blow him up, I mean just defeat him. Hello, you. I'm pretty sure I've taken a picture of one of those before, so let me get that if I can. Ah, uh, ah, uh, got him. Cool. Already got one of those. Very good. Ow, stop. Please. Doesn't look like we can search that guardian. Now, where are we? Because I do not know where exactly we are. But it looks like there's plenty of area around here. Elden Ostrich. Let me get that. And... Oh, it's coming to attack me. Oh my goodness. Can I get a picture of this fire keys? I'm, I might have already got a fire keys, actually. Yeah, but this is a better picture. Let me keep the... Let me replace the pictures. You can do that. So... If you don't know what a picture you've taken is supposed to be, then you can just do that. Also, when the, the fire chew expelled its fire before... Oh! That was, um... That's an actual thing that they do. Also, that's a Guardian Stalker. So I might be in trouble going along this path. Just a little bit. Okay. Guardian Stalkers are still terrifying. But maybe I can take it on. That might be a bit risky. And go around it, unless it spots me. Okay. Oh, I don't have a shield out. Let me get a shield out. Oh, there it goes. 
Now, if I can, let me just zap you with lightning. And again, if possible. Quick, do some damage, do some damage, Link. Don't miss. Come on. I might even switch weapon. Oh, I'm gonna have to in a second here. But anyway, because we're fighting an enemy imbued with malice, the Master Sword is now glowing and has 60 attack. So let's see if we can do it. Do it faster, Link, please. Thank you. And there we go, we have defeated a Guardian Stalker. Drops a lot of parts, which is good. Ow, don't ruin my parts, man. Probably gonna switch off of that now that it's 30 attack. Oh, get up, Link. Please. Just hit. Oh my goodness, why I hate enemies that just pop up out of nowhere and then don't die. Goodbye. Pretty sure I've already seen this all before. Let me just grab all that, and I might even take this spear, since my other spear, or one of my weapons broke. Okay, let's keep going along this path. And if we took any damage, there's still hot springs that we can use to reheal ourselves. I might have to stop moving while I'm inside of it. Yeah. It only recovers half a heart at a time, but it goes fairly quickly. Somewhat. Now I can see that over there, so let's have a look at that. Some of this is actually deep, so I need to be careful. Now, we can see this over here. So let's see if we can get it in one go. Easy. Just have to throw a rock in there and it's all done. Another Korok. If I can get one or two more, like right around now, That'd be really great, though. Just for reasons. Um, anyway, let's keep going along this path. It's quite a long path to go along, so... It will take a little bit. But you can see, probably by now, why I didn't want to take a horse with me. Because it was probably just gonna die from Guardian. You know? Anyway, let's have a look at this. Get some Luminous Stone, possibly. Oh, that set it on fire. You need to be careful about that. In fact, my shield is also made of wood. So that could... Oh, eyeball, come back. So my shield could also get set on fire. Anyway, let's grab the Luma Stone, please. Thank you. Oh my goodness, another keys. Okay, put that away, put that away, put it away. I think while it's on fire, though, it is taking away durability. Which is unfortunate, but that's alright for me. Since it's just a throwaway weapon anyway. That's why I'm hitting rocks with it. Although I think it's pretty good for breaking rocks open anyway. Just this type of weapon. Good job with that. I'll just take you out. As you can see when they don't when the ch when a choo choo of a element doesn't expel their element, uh, they will just explode with their element when they attack. So let's back up. He's gonna put himself out, and then we can just hit him and don't have to worry about him exploding. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Um, there's a lot of fire enemies around here. Let me switch my weapon really quick. Oh, also I believe that ice, ice weapons are extra effective against fire enemies, so... Although I don't think it matters anyway, since these are just easy to kill enemies. There we go. Let's blow that up. Why is it so cold in here? Like, actually, why is it so cold in here? Now, have I taken a picture of this before? Probably. This rare, a rare ore deposit? Yeah. Let's see what we get. Ooh, ruby, sapphire, topaz. Very good stuff. Why is there so many enemies around here? Oh. Don't die. Oh my goodness. 
really game. I'm just gonna run. But I believe, just up ahead, somewhat, I think, if I'm not wrong, I could be wrong. So have I taken a picture of that? Yes, I have, and I needed that, I believe, for one of my outfits. I believe that's somewhere up ahead of us. If we can just ignore the enemies for five seconds. Somewhere. I could be wrong, because I feel like I am at this point. Since what I'm expecting isn't here. What is this? Oh, Iron Shroom. Cool. It's an odd place for it to be growing. But that's okay. Let's examine this. Death Mountain Marker number two. Goron City ahead. Heat level one star. Non-Gorons use extreme caution. So, that's actually something we're going to need to keep in mind. Once we actually get further ahead. Oh my goodness. That Keith's eyeball was on fire. Which might be an indication of something. Let me just quickly check what happens if I drop an apple on the ground. Nothing. Cool. Just checking. Um, I believe, is this the path? I think this is the path up here. Um, oh, this looks like it. But also, if we go any further forward, we just poof into flames. While we're on Death Mountain, we are in trouble because there's fire. Basically, just from being on the mountain. Just from being on the mountain, it's like being in a fire. Hence the apple cooking. Oh, careful about that. I think I want to take off burnable equipment. But it's still going to be hot. Oh, it's still hot. Now, you'd think this would stop up me from getting to the tower. But if I don't get to the tower now, I have to go along this whole path again. There's also a guardian to be wary of, so I'm going to be careful of that. Oh, it saw me. That's fine. Revali's Gale is your friend for this section, apparently. You can along the side of the mountain if you need to. Not actually follow the path. Which is probably what I'd recommend. Oh my goodness. Go down, go down, down, Link. Okay, good. And now, over here, we seem to be mostly alright. I think if I went further in the middle, yeah, I'd still get set on fire. But you can probably make it to this tower without having to worry about being set on fire too much. I really hope that once I get to this tower, it's not going to set me on fire as I climb it. Get it? Climb, climb, climb it. Okay. Let's just climb this. Look around a little bit. Since there's a lot of area to explore, we can see the shrine that we teleported to over there to start this journey up Death Mountain. Okay, just gonna stop for a second. And now, that should be enough to get me to the top. Don't want to expel myself a little bit. And there we go. And now we actually have to do something about being set on fire. So, your first thought, possibly, is heat resistance. 
to bring down that part of the gauge. But that is not going to help us here. So, instead of that, let's change our armor again. And let's head back down to that stable. There's also, I believe, another path over by... Uh, no, that's not a actual path. Okay, that just ends there. I wonder if that's a cave. I don't actually know. I probably want to actually check that at some point, because I don't know where that comes out. I haven't... I've not 100%ed this game before, so I don't know everything about it. Although it's just a really huge game, so I don't think anyone has truly found absolutely everything. Not even the people who made this probably know where everything is. Is that a thing down there? That looks like a thing down there. I wonder if that's a Korok. I'm going to check because I'm on that kind of thing. Ow, pain, pain, pain. Get up, Link, 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 Link. Get up, please. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that is a Korok. There's a rock here to pick up. Very good. And let's keep going towards the stable. The reason I'm heading back to the stable, which I could have just teleported to, is that we need a cooking pot. Because there's something we can make that's going to help us resist this resist this whole thing. Recess the being burned to death. So, what we need is a particular item that's only found around this region. You can buy it from Beetle. We need the fireproof lizard. So, let's just put this into an elixir. Let's try to make it last as long as possible. We get a fireproof elixir. Grants a fireproof effect, which prevents your body from catching fire. Be sure to pack th this when venturing out to explore Death Mountain. A little hint that you didn't have if you didn't make this before. So I'm probably going to make a few of these since there's not really much use for fireproof other than this, so... You could have... Otherwise you could just, um... Tank the heat and the fire and just eat, but I would not recommend that. I'm pretty sure that's how I actually got it my first time. Okay, varying amounts of time with those. Now let's head back to the tower. Where's the fire? When a wooden weapon or shield catches fire, you can extinguish it by equipping the burning item. What? Okay then. So, let's go over to our meals. Let's find our fireproof stuff. Nine and a half minutes is pretty good. We've also got one that recovers health, health for some reason. Let's just drink this and let's go. There are a few things along the path that we could take a look at, but given that we only have a limited time to explore, I would actually just recommend following the path and then cleaning up afterwards. Probably. Let's focus on the task at hand, and let's just run through all of this. I'm pretty sure that the big chews just count as the small ones. Yeah, that's still just a fire chew. Probably just going to keep ignoring things. There are also hot springs up here, which is what helps me get through this my first time, but being on fire just didn't really work out. Also, there's one of those. I don't know if we've seen one of these before. I'm pretty sure we saw one of those. Just need to have it absorb a bomb and then blow it up. A lot of the items that are dropped around here, though, are going to get... Oh, my goodness. Going to get destroyed by the fire. Like this. The guts of the... Octorok just start smoking, which that means they're going to burn. Let's keep going. And I think just in front of us is a problem. To put it simply. Because 
This is an Igneo Talus. A stone talus, but you can't touch it because it's on fire. So, if we get close enough to it and then we use an ice element weapon on it. Oh my goodness, death and destruction. Let me just, I probably could use a full recovery. Although I guess I have other stuff that I can use as well. Where am I? Please, game. If I can get behind it, that'd be great. And then climb up it. It will, it will only last a short amount of time before it uh, recovers its... Um, what's it called? What is it? It's called? It, it, will, it will reignite itself. If you don't take too long. So we need to actually do some damage and quickly. While we still can. Let's do a whole bunch of this. Very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, so good. And done. Pretty much the same as everything else, but just a little bit harder. Let's grab all of our rewards from that. Some rubies, some flint, and a lot of opal. Anyway, let's keep going. Also, if you have um, Obosa's Fury ready, that's also probably recommended. Now let's climb this wall and not accidentally touch any of the lava stuff. Okay. The music's different. I haven't. I really don't think I listened to any music when I first played this, which is surprising. Although I recognize it, so I don't. I don't know. I've I've heard the music sometimes in this game. Okay, we have seven minutes left with our thing. Fury is ready. Death Mountain marker number three, Southern Mine. And there goes a fireproof lizard, but as you can see, opening up a rock is probably just the better strategy at this point. Picking up a rock, not opening up a rock. Grumble. Got some Gorons around this place. Just mining. And there's also a cooking pot here if you need to make some more fireproof elixir. My happiness is the boss's happiness. And that means it's Goron City's happiness too. Dig, dig, and then dig some more. Then sell all that sweet, some sweet ore. That has nothing to do with you. Um. Looks tough. The reason Goron City is so prosperous is because of the work we do here. I actually want to dig closer to the summit, but that lizard monster is in the way. Take care. That's right. Yeah? Yeah? Oh, nothing. Okay, that was just random. He had a thing above him, so I was like, what's up? But nope, nothing. Oh, and there's a updraft here as well. I don't know why I would need that necessarily. We might need it. But for now, let's just keep following this path. Because we're getting closer to the top, I guess. I guess that's the whole thing. The, the, the mountain's very tall, so... We can't even see the top from here. Another marker. Let's read this. Death Mountain, marker number four. This way to Goron City. It's a good thing my weapons don't melt. That's lucky. But while we're out here, we need to be careful of falling lava stuff. We can stand underneath this rock to make sure we're safe. But oh my goodness, it's just so sudden and so much lava rocks. Just gonna kill you. Take some raw bird thigh. And now, we've just about made it to our next location. Oh my goodness, how did that not count?
So now we can see the top of Death Mountain. It's still extremely far away. But now, welcome to Goron City. Well, looky here. Welcome, Mr. Link. Master Link. How did you know? What do you mean? More importantly, I hope you made it past all those magma bombs without injury. To be honest, we haven't had too many of visitors here since those magma bombs started falling from the sky. I'd be bored to tears if I didn't pass the time pretending to greet the long lost Highland Champion, eh? Oh, in case you didn't know, Link is the little Hylian who fought alongside the Goron Champion Daruk. If you want to hear more, talk to the boss. He lives further in town. Also, I guess if we want to be the hero, Link, we should probably hold the Master Sword. Just as you do. Now, the important thing that you wanted to have a look at first, and I mean first, is grab a 50 rupee, is over here because we have the Flame Breaker Armor, which has a Flame Guard. I'm pretty sure you need the entire set to be safe from being set on fire, which means we're going to need a lot of rupees from this. Luckily, we were fighting some taluses, or a talus. You have the privilege of standing in ripped and shredded, my armor shop. How can I help you? I want to sell. What do you want to sell? I want to sell some expensive stuff, probably. Let's sell, I want to keep at least one of those, just for now. I need a lot more rupees than that, though. Gonna keep one of those as well. Ah. Oh, we need so much rupees. I think I can sell my opal, mostly. Probably all of it. 780. Um, topaz, I think, as well. Maybe all but one. 720. Is that gonna be enough? I'm gonna hope. Let's have a look. So, Flame Breaker Boots, Goron Artisans used flame resistant rocks to craft these fireproof boots for curious Kylians visiting Goron City. Thank you for your business, brother. Oh, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna need like 60 more rupees. Flame Breaker Armor. Um, crafted by Gorons for Hylians, curious enough to visit Goron City. It's made from fire-resistant rocks to protect the wearer. Uh. Thanks for your business, brother. Here, let me... I'm gonna do the smart thing. Mm. I wanna sell. And let's go to our meals. Because if we're gonna buy this armor, we never need fireproof elixir again. Ooh. So let's sell both of those. Goodbye. Last of all, Flame Breaker Helm. 2,000 rupees, goodbye. Stone headgear made by Goron Craftsman to protect tourists visiting a Goron city as if... As if... As if it's flame resistant, resistant, resistance isn't enough of a selling point, it also covers your entire head. Oh, we're actually so all sold out. We'll have to get more stock from old man Rowan. Rowan? I don't know. Depends on what the pronunciation is supposed to be for that. I know someone called Rowan, so that's going to be a, a thing to bring up, I guess. But anyway, now that we're in Goron City and that we have this flame breaker armor that we probably need to upgrade so we're not going to just take a lot of damage. We have nine defense at the moment. We definitely want to do something about that. But anyway, that is it for this episode. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.